Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Jay, coming at you guys with another YouTube video. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications because I do the best that I can every single day to give you guys the best cryptocurrency plays. Been pretty right in the past. I've grown my account now over six figures. Got into Cardano at 17 cents, got into Polkadot at $5, got into Chainlink at $3, got into FEG extremely early, already 4 or 5x to my FEG. Um, doing very well in cryptocurrency right now and there's so many plays so many new plays I believe uh, things popping up all the time um, called out safe moon a while ago too if you guys were in on safe moon you probably already four or five extra money I actually sold out of safe moon like an idiot um, don't be like LJ if you guys are in these small micro cap projects and you already know that they have a lot of hype and you already know that they're gonna pump don't FOMO out into another project guys that is such a rookie move but it's something that everybody does. Everybody FOMOs. Doesn't matter who you are. BitBoy probably FOMOs. Like, they all FOMO, bro. I FOMO. Everybody FOMOs. Don't FOMO. Wait for the pullback. Like, I know it's hard right now. Dogecoin is at, like, 27 cents. And I know a lot of people are going to FOMO out of the solid projects to go jump into Dogecoin. Don't FOMO, guys. If something's already up, insane amount. It's not the time to buy. This is not a video for uh, Dogecoin, though. This is a video for VRA. VRA is at a very good time to buy. So if you are looking at investing some money, there's a lot of coins, guys. I, I said it yesterday, actually, in one of my videos, um, that VRA is on a very good time to buy right now. Like I said, Matic, too. I said Matic would be a really good buy opportunity. Matic shot up like 17% today. VRA shot, off, shot up 25% today, and then it rejected it kind of dip down a little bit and I'm actually gonna buy this dip also um, the market might go even further down just because Bitcoin is still consolidating at the time of this video I think Bitcoin trading at like 62 or 61 so uh, again Bitcoin just broke through uh, 60k which is what we've been waiting for to me that was a confirmation that the alt season has started I'm hoping that we don't drop back under 60k because I mean even though sometimes when Bitcoin consolidates it's really good for these other altcoins because some of that money trickles down into the altcoins ultimately when Bitcoin's doing good uh, it's just a matter of time till your coins doing good you just got to sit and be patient guys don't FOMO out of stuff like I said don't be like I did with safe moon um, not in any other safe projects I am in safe BTC soldier boy joined safe BTC today as a matter of fact which is totally awesome again not a video for safe BTC. I'm really excited about that project, but I'm very, very, very excited about VRA. I'm actually buying this dip today, so I wanted to make a video about it because a lot of people are asking me, LJ, are you still holding VRA? Or is it too late for VRA? What are your price predictions for VRA? I think we are extremely early with VRA. I think that the community is growing. Um, this, the searches on YouTube are growing. The Google searches are growing. The in Telegram group is growing. The wallets are growing. And that's what I really look for, guys. I look for a solid team. I look for a solid roadmap. I look for an audit. I look for longevity. I see a lot of longevity in, in VRA. A lot of people say it's not a Theta competitor. I don't know that I could agree or disagree with that. I know that they have uh, a lot of things that they are similar on as far as like streaming and stuff like that. I know that uh, VRA is more like for esports. And they deal with like fraud and anti fraud and stuff like that. And people would say Theta is more of like the bandwidth. I get it. They it's like there's certain perks to certain things. I think they're still competitors. They're dealing with ultimately like similar stuff. And you know a lot of people that are involved in Theta are also involved in VRA. So that's why I always draw those comparisons because they're bullish on the whole streaming thing. And even like there's other coins and stuff like that are, that are kind of trying to get into it. But as far as a Theta competitor. I'd say VRA is the closest thing that Theta has to a competitor. Some people would say Theta is bigger. It has a better uh, better use case. Some people would say the opposite. Some people would say VRA. I say both. I'm in both. I'm a big Theta bag holder, those of you guys who know. I'm also trying to acquire as much VRA as possible right now. VRA is something that I'm definitely buying the most right now because I see a huge upside. I think it could catch up to Theta. I think it could kind of be like, you know how like Chainlink blows up and then band blows up right behind it i think it's going to kind of be like that where you know they're again and, and they do similar things but not really like chain link and band like they're both oracles but they just have like little differences and stuff like that anyway not a video on chain link and band make another video on that i'm definitely going to make a video for chain link but 
for the people that are asking me, am I still accumulating VRA? Yes, I'm still accumulating VRA. Uh, if you guys have some dollars on the side or whatever, I think VRA is an excellent buy to buy under five. If you can get this for under five cents, guys, or five cents or lower, you are very, very lucky. Six cents, you're very, very lucky. I could see VRA going all the way up to from ten dollars to fifteen dollars this bull run. I think it's going to be big. A lot of people are going to be involved in it, and you know, a lot of people won't believe that that'll happen, but. Look, we didn't think we'd see a 26 cent doge, and that doesn't even have any use at all. So, um, with the growth of cryptocurrency, with the growth of Bitcoin, with the growth of the blockchain, I definitely see VRA hitting $15 easily, 100x, 100x from here. We put it at like what, like five dollars or something like that. Easily, easily see that happening. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. What, what's your guys' price predictions for VRA? Are you in VRA? Are you looking at VRA? You think I don't know what I'm talking about? Let me know, guys. But um, also, if you guys are new to this channel, we do have a Telegram. I'd love to hear you guys' feedback in the Telegram as well. Like I said, come engage with the community. Give us your point of view, even if it's not the same as my point of view. You know, I love hearing other people's point of view. I don't ever take anything away from what people have to say because ultimately, we're all here to learn, and this space is growing very, very fast. And sometimes you need to hear somebody else's point of view. So. Um, I want to know what you guys think about VRA. Are you involved in it? Let me know in the comments below. Also, join us on Telegram. We have live TA as well. We have people in there that are programmers. We have people in there that are dudes that just came from stocks that just love doing TA and stuff like that. Uh, which, if you don't know what that is, that's technical analysis. We'll help you buy the coin. We'll help you do whatever you guys pretty much need help with. It's totally free. And it's just community driven. It's just a little Telegram group that... You know, I decided that I was going to make and not charge anybody for. Um, so get involved, guys. Uh, I'm going to cut the video here. If you're looking at VRA, guys, if you're asking me, LJ, are you still buying VRA? The answer is yes, and I made a video for it now. So, again, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next video. Peace.